Hey guys, welcome to another Robot Adventures review come by there. I know the light's a little bright there on this guy, but uh, let's check him out. Trans scanning protoform earth mode. I guess if you were on Venus, it'd be another mode. Tommy Takata, here he is in the back. In the back. What's the trans scanning? Conversion! I guess conversion is better than trans scan. I don't know. I hope they make a whole series of these guys, but the core body looks the same. So let's take them out, play with them, rub them all over our bodies. Okay, here we have Bumblebee versus uh, Protoform Prime. I just put them back in the box there definitely darker and his eyes are blue whereas uh, this guy's eyes primary colors oh yeah you can even see that are black right there they're not black see, this one costs 35 the other one I bought just trying to scan in. 31 Yodobashi is cheaper buy your toys at Yodobashi anyway same same mold just a darker color okay ball sniffing lesbian whore fuckers I wish I was a lesbian whore fucker and I'd like to challenge a, a dyke with a strap on and uh See who could fuck the girl the longest before giving up. And uh, the winner gets, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever the winner gets. And uh, me with my my rod versus a lesbian with a strap on. And who is the winner? I am either way. That is correct, yes. So let's check out him in Bumblebee form here. And, you know, I saw this guy, I was checking out Bumblebee reviews online, and there was this one guy on uh, uh, the Transformers or something, and he took pictures of this thing. So there's an, there's an actually another really dorky guy in Japan who posts reviews. So, but yeah, you can tell the, the door is different. This, this door the paint on the door is different from the paint on the body uh... that's pretty much, I mean it looks pretty sweet there let's check out the underside I don't know if this is perfected transformation uh... because uh... I don't read the instructions but I'm going with that's the way it's supposed to go just and you know this thing took me about thirty forty five minutes to figure out which is good because it only costs three thousand yen which means about thirty bucks so thirty bucks for thirty minutes of entertainment i think that's a good deal anybody who reads instructions is wasting their money so yeah why would you get a transformer and, and read the instructions i don't even know so yeah of course the hood is not all totally hooked up there. Let me get my other transformers. Yeah, we got uh, okay. Mr. Uh, trans scanning Bumblebee and this semi fucked up transformation. It's pretty good though. I got them pretty good. Versus uh, the concept car which is pretty fucked up. The tailpipe action there. Uh, the auto morphing on this guy is fucking excellent. But you know it takes a little fucking uh, wiggling and get this guy perfectly uh, aligned like the transparent windows very dark dark tint on these guys check out the underside completely different got legs down on the hood here you got head at the hood here so transformation underside is unique. Uh, 
concept bumblebee. Uh, I'm going trans scanning again. This guy's bigger, but uh, he's bigger. He's bigger, but just like this, I just like him. He's hard as fuck to transform. This guy took me, you know, like a minute, two minutes, maybe three. But anyway, still not as complex. And, you know, I always say I'm about the transformation. This guy's pretty clean, pretty clean. So, but he's hard as fuck to transform. All right, let's see if I can untransform him or transform him back into uh, robot mode probably easier to do than to transform him into uh, a car let's see forever but I don't really care and of course no he does not have any weapon he is weapon free right, let's rotate him around check out what, is he, what he can do here put him on the center of my rotation tray of death here now he's not really in a really cool pose now I might edit this thing a bit, or just might do it in two parts. So you got the legging. This one I did not have to disassemble like I did a uh, uh, convoy, or what do you call them, uh, Optimus Prime. He is very uh complex i'm going on the box it says a conversion factor of four highly complex conversion factor well, let me just uh get by that real quick you can see in there the back of the thing just attaches i'll i'll remove it here in a second but uh posability wise um pretty good I think. We just have to work out the balance. But yeah, really nice figure there. Um we can get him kicking or something. Yeah, I I think you can pose him like a whole bunch of different ways. Got ball joints all over the place. He doesn't have a weapon, which is kind of a drawback. Unless you count his steel rod of love, which he used repeatedly in the NC-17 version of Transformers, which was only released in uh, the freakiest country, Germany. That's right, all you Germans have the NC, but freaking crazy fucking Germans, you know, I think, you know, I think the French people resent the Germans for being so freaky, because we call it French kissing, right? We don't call it German teabagging, do we? Alright, guys, let me change all these parts.